And so eventually they die in a shipwreck. Oh my god, where were they even sailing to? They were sailing up on out of this movie because I'm done with them. Well, okay then. So then Elsa and Anna spend three years inside the castle separated from each other and the outside world. Why can't Anna leave? Unclear. And who's running everything while they're locked up? I don't know. Fair enough. He stumbles out to his car because he has a magical resuscitation machine in there. Wow. And then he can't get it to work in time, so he dies. What? Oh, just for a minute. Then this woman Vesper that's with him comes to save him. Why didn't he go directly to see her when he knew he was poisoned. Unclear. So at the end of the movie, the main dude is gonna see the Iron Man suit and be like, that's my new suit. Oh, is he in charge of something now? Unclear. Then at a certain point, we're just gonna get rid of all the extras by having them walk through some tall grass that has raptors in it. Oh my god, well how did the main characters get through? Well, when they walk through, there aren't any raptors. Why? Unclear. That works. We're gonna jump forward like 20 years and grown-up Magneto's gonna be on the hunt for Shaw because he wants revenge. Wait, what happened in those 20 years? Unclear. How did he escape from Shaw. I don't know. Why is he just now on the path to revenge? Because this is when the story starts. Well, okay. See, she realizes that just like the hat, if she holds on to him in a dream and wakes up, she'll pull him into the real world. So you said she was holding him earlier when she got woken up by the alarm clock. Right, right, right. But that was different. How so? Unclear. Well, okay then. And then Abby and Holtzman get fired from their jobs too, so they all decide to form a ghost squad together. With what money? Unclear. And then they hire a secretary guy, Kevin. With what money? Unclear. And then they hire this other lady, Patty, with what money? Unclear. I just don't get how this business model works. Yeah, it doesn't make much sense, but Kevin's gonna be really dumb, so I hope people just focus on that. And we're gonna have David Dunn from Unbreakable trying to track down the beast from Split. Oh, uh, that's gonna be awesome. Yeah, they're gonna have a little fight in a warehouse, but they're gonna crash through a window and the cops are gonna be waiting for them outside. How did they know where they were? Unclear. And if they knew both of their locations, why did they wait for them to be together to arrest them? Also unclear. Well, okay then. And then the Looney Tunes are gonna face a real challenge. Oh, they are? Yeah, Michael's gonna realize that if he's gonna play, he's gonna need his sneakers and his lucky shorts. Oh my god. Yeah, he doesn't have them. That's insane. I know, so then Bugs and Daffy are gonna have to go get them at his house. Why can't Michael go? Unclear. Oh, and we're gonna meet this Skrull commander, Talos. And what's his deal? Oh, well, he's green and for some reason Australian. Oh, being inexplicably Australian is tight. Yeah, and he's like taking the form of the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. or something. So what happened to the old director? Unclear. Huh. Back at the mansion, Stryker shows up in a helicopter right after the explosion. What, like right away? How did he react so quickly? Unclear, but he goes ahead and captures the main character. The way to get Magneto out of jail, Wolverine's like, I know a guy, and they go get Quicksilver. How does Wolverine know Quicksilver? Unclear. Huh. Robin's gonna pretend like he's still affected by the toxin to get close to Poison Ivy. Okay. But then he reveals he was faking it. So how did they get over the effect of the toxin? Unclear. Huh. The characters chase him, but Padme falls off the ship. Oh no. Yeah, so she's like, man, I gotta get to the hangar to go help them. How does she know they're going to a hangar. Unclear. Huh. And she not only got sent to a new dimension, but a week back in time, so she's there before the portal even opens. How come? Because. That works. And we're also gonna find out that her spider sense told her to go to that school. Didn't she say the school was super exclusive? How'd she even manage to get in? Oh, unclear. Well, so what was she even doing for a full week? Unclear. Well, okay, I guess we'll have to make a spin-off to show what the hell's going on with this character. Sue is going, and she used to date Reed, so he kinda wants to keep an eye on things. Does he think they're gonna go cheat on him in his space station? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, and also Sue's brother Johnny is gonna be going. God, what are all these characters gonna do on this mission? Incredibly unclear, but they all have to be there so they get powers. Oh, okay, gotcha. Bullseye is gonna end up killing Elektra's dad with Daredevil's weapon, so she thinks he did it. Uh-oh. Yeah, she's real mad, so she starts training by stabbing falling sandbags in her mansion. What? How are the sandbags falling? Unclear. Huh. They all came back to Derry without knowing that Pennywise was back? That's right, because there was like this memory haze or something. The further they got away, the more they forgot except Stanley, he remembered and hated it. If they couldn't remember, why did they come to Derry with such urgency? Unclear. Memory? Haze? Magic? Magic haze? Well, okay then. Oh, how come she didn't make that part of her plan in the first place? Maybe arrive a little earlier, get her hands on one? I don't know. Fair enough. And luckily Sarah Connor knows a dude who's high up in the military who owes her some favors. Oh, how and why? Unclear and unclear. Well, okay then. So then all the good guys are gonna have a big party. Very fun. And Lando and this ex-stormtrooper girl talk about how she doesn't know where she's from and he's gonna be like, well, let's find out. Well, what does that mean? Unclear, sir. Either a spin-off adventure or he's gonna hook up with somebody 55 years younger than him. Wow, well, that's either exciting or gross. Potentially both. So then Harley brings this girl to her apartment because she doesn't want the bad guys to cut her open. She just wants her to poop out the diamond. Oh, valuable poops are tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't she being hunted by everyone, including the police? Yep, she is. So then the police bang on the door. Why would she go to her apartment? Unclear. And then someone shoots like a rocket at her place. Why did she go home? So then Harley 
someone calls Sionis to be like, all right, let's meet in an abandoned theme park, because that's my brand. Then Irina puts the skull onto this alien skeleton thing that's missing its head. How did this skull get out of this room in the first place? Unclear, but then this skeleton merges with a bunch of other skeletons and becomes an alien. Oh, it does that. Okay, what happens with this big scary cloud? He's not actually a cloud. What happens with this big scary cloud? Okay, well, he wants to eat the planet. Oh, a very rude cloud. So then Dr. Doom, he steals the Silver Surfer's board and he takes off to go do his evil plan. What's his evil plan again? Unclear, but he's on his way to it and he's moving very fast. Well, well, they better catch up to him, I guess. So Two-Face, the whole movie, he's trying to kill Batman and he keeps failing. Very, very cool. Yeah, at a certain point, he's chasing Batman and Batman drives up the side of a building. Wow, how does he get back down? Unclear. Oh, okay. And so anyway, then they go back to Finn's bar and they hang out with his employee Nova and this drunk guy George. Wait, so the sharks are gone? Yeah, they left. They're gone. Why? Unclear. They swam away. Why did they send him? Well, because he's really good at stealing things. Oh, okay. And he can unhinge his jaw and eat dirt so fast it goes flying out his rectum. What was that? And so he manages to get his hands on the Aculos and now he's on Artemis' team as well. But how did that happen? When did he join the team? Unclear, but then a troll gets sent in and they all have to survive. Okay. And in Russian, Yosef says everything has a price and then John answers back in Russian, so Yosef is like, what? Oh, he's mad? He's upset? He's very mad. He's so mad that that night him and his buddies break into John's house. How did they find out where he lives? Unclear, and so they beat him up and they steal his car. Well, as long as the dog is okay. And they kill his dog. 